And if your travels take you to the eastern or the western side of the state, getting your vehicle prepared for winter weather right now could save you both time and hassle. Yeah, Fox 13 Steve Kiggins is live in Snoqualmie Pass where people are just bracing for a wild week. Steve? I tell you, we really haven't seen a lot of accumulation up here on Snoqualmie Pass today. We have seen showers. They were pretty short-lived. I-90 looks really good. Hardly any slush or snow on the roadways, but that's not going to last long. It just kind of came out of nowhere here. David Wheeler at Les Schwab knows business is about That's to get busy. Good hail, but I think this is going to be the start of the snow. He says this Les Schwab in North Bend is the last shop before Ellensburg for drivers heading east over Snoqualmie Pass. So you've got your red chain down here and your red tensioner down here. Now that winter storms are piling up, he says drivers should get prepped with snow tires or chains now. The sooner the better. Um, we do get extremely busy this time of the year. Um, a lot of people will wait until the snow actually actually hits the ground before they come in. Even though I-90 was cleared of most snow and slush, eastbound traffic bottled up for a short time Monday afternoon. Crews were busy removing this trailer. The wrecking crew said it slid into a ditch during last week's storms and couldn't be removed until weather calmed. It's a backup that this driver's big wheels couldn't overcome. He's heading back to Seattle. I've been stuck long enough to, to want to turn around. That's for sure. At some call me pass, compact snow and slush covers the side roads. And she's a good car dog, too, so, you know. <laughs> Siri Lindstrom is traveling to eastern right. Washington like with her best friend. <laughs> they first planned their journey for Sunday, but decided to hold off until the weather improved. I was looking at, like, the conditions and stuff like that, and I was a little nervous, so. So how did it go today? Yeah, it's, so far, this is the worst part. So the actual highway seems fine so far. Um, you know, haven't gotten to the east side yet, so we'll see what happens over there. Whoa, oh, kisses. Kisses. <laughs> Gosh, we could see up to two feet of new snowfall just through the rest of this week, so pay attention if you're crossing over these mountain passes. Make sure you've got your chains. Make sure you carry also an emergency kit, and that includes a blanket, and some water, some gloves, anything else you might need in case you get stuck in a shutdown or you go off the roadway. Live in Snoqualmie Pass, Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News.